You probably watched it, your little brother probably watched it, and your own kids may watch it today. But when it was canceled 25 years ago, no one imagined that an offbeat NBC drama about intergalactic explorers would become the most successful program in syndicated history, launching a vast business empire and a kind of cult following. And with yet another movie coming out, you don't have to be a trekker to figure out what show we're talking about. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, its five-year mission. In 1969, Star Trek's five-year mission was aborted by the most terrifying life form in the galaxy, a network programming executive. It was a devastating blow to the actor who'd made the show his own. The cancellations happened. Life is at an end. Well, not quite. With 79 episodes of Star Trek airing around the world in syndication... What about your phaser, Captain? The cancellation phaser was set on stun, not kill. I have been in the furthest reaches of, of uh, the Caspian Sea. My face was on the black and white set, speaking Farsi. And the waiter comes over to me. He says, Captain Kodak? With this kind of worldwide appeal, how valuable is the Star Trek Enterprise? Consider this. With the series running strong in reruns, six motion pictures have earned half a billion dollars at the box office. So what is it about these intrepid explorers that has allowed the show to go where none has gone before? It speculates on the question that is the most profound of human questions. What's up there? The other answer has more to do with the portrayal of Captain Kirk by William Shatner. If you see me slipping again, your orders... Your orders... are to tell me. Shatner's depiction of Kirk has affected a generation of performers, like actor and stand-up comic Kevin Pollack. Captain Kirk, of course, suffers from posnia. That's where you pause for no reason. You think it's for no reason, but actually there's a great reason. That is to create tension within the moment. You think you know where he's going, and suddenly, I remember on Roger Four, we were trapped. So while he's contemplating in the pause, you get to contemplate with him. What was he? Oh, trapped. OK. God. There's always a, a moment where Kirk is in complete and utter pain. Now, in the script, it just says Kirk gets zapped. But as the actor, as the genius, Shatner must find a way to convey absolute pain, pain that the viewer has never even imagined and couldn't possibly drum up in their own mind. And so what it is is the elbows come together, the hands are thrusted forward, and the expression on the face must sell, I have to stand for this, must sell the moment in every way, shape, and form. So he's staring the creature down, and then comes the zap. Ah! You see, it's really simple. Let me do it again, in case you missed it at home. Elbows together, hands thrust out, face of utter horror. 24th century isn't so tough. The Star Trek log added another entry with the release of the latest film, Star Trek Generations, which teams captains James T. Kirk and Jean-Luc Picard in a struggle, not surprisingly, to save the galaxy. I take it the odds are against us and the situation is grim. You could say that. You know, if Spock were here, he'd say that I was an irrational, illogical human being for taking on a mission like that. It marks the passing of the phaser from one era to another. Sounds like fun. Captain Kirk and Star Trek part here rather permanently. But even with William Shatner beaming off the Enterprise for the last time, the Star Trek mission continues moving at warp speed and should live long and prosper. Warp one, engage! By the way, next month, William Shatner and Patrick Stewart will hold a conference call with 12,000 Star Trek fans. It'll be the biggest party line in history. Now here's Tom Brokaw with a program note. Thanks, Jane. Tomorrow on NBC Nightly News, it's a nationwide scam and every driver in America is a big loser. Someone is selling phony diesel fuel, cheating the government out of billions of tax dollars. Who's to blame? We'll have an NBC News investigation tomorrow on NBC Nightly News. Jane? 
We're off for the rest of the week, but here's a look at one of the stories we're working on for next Tuesday's Dateline. A rare interview with Woody Allen after the most trying time of his life. One of America's premier directors talks to Bob Costas about his true passion, movie making. No, no, don't speak. Don't speak. The monkey glands are working. You're wrapped with guilt. I'm wrapped with guilt. Are you trying to make my part smaller? If you get some new lines or I'll mail your kneecaps to the dance floor. I quit. Oh, be silent. Don't speak. I think maybe I'll go and check into a sanitarium and get the help that I need. And we'll talk later because it's been good. Bullets Over Broadway, his new comedy that's winning praise from critics and fans. Two martinis, please. Very dry. How'd you know what I drank? Oh, you want one too? Three. The Bob Costas interview next Tuesday on Dateline. Finally tonight, she was in hog heaven. Now she's at the fat farm. A timely cautionary tale. Is